as Calvin Tatum. So now we progress to heat number 16 at the 1990 World Speedway Final. And there we see in blue, Hot Toddy, Todd Wiltshire, doing very well at the moment. He goes into gate number two in the blue helmet colour. Alongside him in, in red is Perry Johnson in red. Gate number one. Gate number three in white will be Martin Dugard. And on the outside in yellow and black from the US of A is Sean Moran. So quite a race in prospect with the leaderboard, these three. Perry Johnson in red. Todd Wiltshire in blue and Sean Moran in yellow and black and surely something's got to give as you see there two riders on eight points Johnson in red and Wiltshire in blue and throw in good old Sean Moran on the outside on seven points and we could be in for a real cracker so the starting marshal getting a little bit anxious as the riders now come into the start and the bike's rev he's calling in Sean Moran he's now happy the bike's rev Wilshire is in third place. My word, what a race. One of the best races you'll ever see in the world of Speedway. The lead changing hands four times and it's Sean Moran who gets the three points. Let's take another look as these riders leave the start. At this stage it's Johnson who's got it. Todd Wilshire's with him but just look at Sean Moran. Drifts out wide. Can't do it. Then cuts back on the inside. Drives underneath Johnson and at this point has got his nose in front. But Jonsson's not finished. Drives back on Sean Moran. Todd Wiltshire's still in the reckoning at that stage. With one lap gone. Now Jonsson comes underneath Sean Moran. Now he's back in front. It's Jonsson there again. Sean Moran takes the initiative. Does exactly the same as he's done on the first lap. Drives underneath Perry Jonsson. And at this stage, Sean Moran's through the first place. And goes on to take the checker flag. As the tapes rise, you can clearly see that Jonsson had a great start as the tapes went up. And Sean Moran was going to do go around the outside. And mid-track changes his mind, cuts back. And just thankfully, Todd Wiltshire wasn't too close. The bike lifts, but he's made it to hold position. At this stage, Todd Wiltshire comes back on the thick of things. He's now in second place. Jonsson has to come from the back to overtake Todd Wiltshire. And at this stage, drives underneath Sean Moran on the first and second turn of sec lap number two. He's now in front again. So Sean Moran now lifts, goes underneath Johnson on the third and fourth turn of lap number two. And at that stage, he has a little bit of initiative and goes on to win the race. So Johnson on 10 points after heat number 16. He's now dropped two points in this World Championship. 